I asked my wife to be a photographer and take me to a cliff at sunset and take pictures of me. I felt like it was time to have a professional picture with me using professional video equipment. And so I asked my wife to help me with it. And I set her up with my photography camera and showed her what to do. And I think she rocked it. These are some of the pictures she got. This one was her favorite. I really liked this one, but she said that uh, this one re reflects my personality a lot more accurately. So, that one focused. So, went ahead and updated that across all platforms. Pop that there on Instagram, on Facebook, on LinkedIn, on YouTube, on Vimeo, Vimeo. I also figured out that on Vimeo you can you can put a clip of one of your videos up there. So I did that. And then I updated my website. So now, now we have a consistent look and it pretty quickly communicates who we are, what we do, and a little bit about our personality. So this is Chris, he's a director, producer in the area, and we just met for coffee, he just treated me to coffee, and really nice guy, great connection, and he's produced some really cool stuff. I'll put a link to his website in the description. Yeah, best of luck to you, Toby. It is hard getting started in a, in a new spot, for sure. Yeah. That guy was awesome. We just spent an hour and a half together chatting it up at this coffee shop, and he's just so sweet. and. He actually, when he first came to the Bay Area, he reached out to like a Facebook group similar to I did and two people met with him and those two people were just a big blessing in his life. And one of them met him at that cafe over there, Simple Pleasures. And so he thought when he saw me uh, put my post out there, he's like, you know, I want to return the favor and welcome other people into the area. So Chris took me out to coffee and just shared me his shared his story with me and just encouraged me and and said he would try and link me up with some friends of his and and just was super sweet also he gave me some really good advice that I didn't think about he told me about um, a great opportunity to get connected is to reach out to DPs and offer to do camera operator work or B cam work with DPs because um, sometimes they need that extra help and that's a great way to get connected with DPs. I didn't know that. I thought DPs, I should, be, I should leave them alone because they're competition. But he told me there's more than enough work to go around and it's definitely worth connecting with them. So, Chris, thanks man. I really appreciate you. That was really encouraging. So, I just added two new interviews uh, to my portfolio. I had shot some interviews before but never shown them because I'm like, well, they're just interviews. But then recently I've been realizing that people want to see that you can do interviews. So I did an interview of Grammy winning Bobby Rush, I mean two-time Grammy winning Bobby Rush. So I decided to just pull a clip from that and post that. Um, even though it's a part of a project that hasn't been published yet, I figured I could just post 20 seconds of it I, I like the work and so I talked about it. And then I also had shot an interview of a friend um, in Mississippi and I like how that turned out too. So I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna pop these on my portfolio and uh, I'm pretty excited about it. I like how this one turned out. It was pretty hard to light because the lighting changed as the interview went on, but I think it looked good. Um, Obviously, you're looking at my computer screen, so it's not going to look as good as the video did there. But anyways, added some um, added some interviews to the portfolio just so people know that we can do interviews. I figure I don't need to have a lot, but at least having something there should help. And another cool thing is I got a quote out for a launch for a company that's coming out. It's cool. 
off-roading modification company. Not really off-roading, but overlanding company that's gonna be coming out soon. Really cool company. A friend of mine owns it. He reached out for a quote. And so I wrote up a quote and I was able to include um, three, uh, two other guys, a colorist and an editor, and we were able to give a really competitive price. Usually, I don't think I'd be able to price something this low, but I just wanna get momentum going and I wanna try a project with these guys. So pretty excited. We've got two days of shooting. We're gonna have to rent some gear for this shoot. It's gonna take three to four weeks of post-production. He's gonna have at least, I mean, he gets two rounds of revisions for free. And um, yeah, it's gonna be really cool. We planned out like shoot days, each day's different details that'll be included. And uh, this is how I've structured my, my uh, quote. I like it, it's just super simple. Every time I've been doing a quote recently, I've been just starting it over from scratch. Um, so I don't know, maybe in the future I'll have a template, but I like doing it this way right now. So yeah, we got our first quote out, sent that out. And uh, now we'll have to see what happens. See if they go for it or if not, if anything, it was a good learning experience quoting a project out here. I found a creative agency that I want to reach out to. Check it out. Luma Creative. They have some really beautiful, beautiful work. One of my favorite pieces of work of theirs is this short little documentary about a surfer um, who fishes. And it's just really, really beautiful. Um, features just beautiful shots of the ocean. I love those shots where they're in the ocean with him. It's a really cool piece of work. They're a really talented group of people. It seems like a creative agency that hires freelancers for their shoots, I'm pretty sure. And I just watched a video by this awesome documentary filmmaker, Luke Forsenth, on how to reach out to people. And this is what he said instructions for something like this but basically i make a big list of all the companies i thought would be a good match for my skills then start emailing but instead of saying i want to work for you please hire me or even worse can you please get on a call with me and give me some tips i'd say i'm a documentary cinematographer based in mexico city who shot for clients like x y and z go canada i love the work your company did on project whatever and because of my skill set i think i'd be a great fit I'm heading to New York in a couple of weeks for some meetings, and I'd love to swing by your office for 15 minutes and introduce myself quickly. Let me know if you have a minute during whatever date range, and I'll come to wherever is easiest for you. Obviously, that's a basic version of the email I sent, but you don't really need to say much more than that. Can you see how much easier this is for someone to work with than the other approaches? If someone emails me and says, I'm going to be in your city, I'll come to a coffee shop near your place, and all I want to do is introduce myself, it's so much easier for me to take that meeting. If the so, oh yeah. It's the right skills and I like their vibe. I'm much more likely to hire them than if I just got in a random email. Now, of course. So anyways, I love that approach. I screenshotted it. I, I love this guy. He's just so straightforward. I screenshotted it. And then I made my own email to this company. And I really like how it turned out. Uh, it's, it's much more direct than I'm used to being. Because I don't know. I, I don't always tend to be that direct with people. But this is what I said. What's up, Luma? I'm a commercial DP who just moved to the Bay Area from Mississippi. I've shot for clients like Visit Jackson, Visit Mississippi, and Mellon. I love the short doc you guys produced, Portrait of a Fisherman. That's the one I showed you guys. And because of my skill set, I think I'd be a great fit for some of your live action or docu style videos. On their website, they said they like to do like to produce live action, docu style, and um, scripted videos. So I was like, you know what? I think I could I think I could definitely do live action and docu style videos that they would like. And scripted, I think that's an area I could grow in, but I know for sure I could get them good live action and docu style videos. So anyways, I'd love to swing by your office for 15 minutes and introduce myself quickly. Let me know if you have a minute and I'll come to wherever whatever is easiest for you. So yeah. That's my first time sending one of those. I'm gonna try sending more of those. I've written up emails to local creative agencies already but usually they're much more lengthy and less direct so i'm curious how that would go I i'm guessing i'll probably have to reach out to like 10 companies to get one response i'm guessing but i'm curious how this will go i really like this company they kind of stand out to me as awesome and have a great eye for excellence so it'd be cool to, to work with them but yeah kind of cool right so there we have it there's another week in my life out here in the san francisco bay area we're gonna drum up work. 
thanks for being here along with me for the ride, being with my little family. And let's see what happens next. If you have something interesting or you'd like to connect with me in the comments, I'd love to hear it. Love to hear from you. Just using this channel to connect with other people. So thanks for being with me. The holidays are around now, so I don't know how often I'll make videos over the next week or two, but we'll see. Appreciate you. Bye.